Hey, this is Lok. Welcome to the Practicing Designer tutorial series. This video will cover Stage Central. So the requirement for accessing Stage Central is to have an account. So if you don't have an account, go over to the Tools account page and you can sign up here for an account. Make sure you check your junk email for the confirmation email. If not, you can just recreate a new account using a new email address. If you are encountering any problems, just go ahead to join our Discord server and then I can help you troubleshoot some of these things. I can also help you reset your password if you want to. So once you're in an account, if you go over to the tool section, there's this thing called Stage Central. If you click on this, and you'll be presented with this UI. And this is a community of stage designers who created cool stage designs and uploaded them to Stage Central so that anybody else can download them. And so what you see up here is a list of stages with their names, the scoring type, the target types, the long, whether it's a long course or short course, uh, how many paper targets, how many points, and who is the author, right? And so for instance, as you can see, these are all stages I've uploaded. I can delete them if I don't want them. And for other stage designs, I can send feedback and say, hey, this is cool or this, is, this sucks. Please change this, you know, whatever. But please be respectful when you send feedback to the stage designers. You can also vote the stages up and down. Like if you really like this stage, you can just click on this button to vote it up. And then that gets more visibility. And then you can also download the stage design from here. So I have this stage called Proportionalism. If you want to see what it looks like before downloading it, you can just highlight this thumbnail here and see the stage design. This is what Maze Me looks like. This is what Honeycomb looks like. This is what Obfuscate It looks like. We've actually shot some of these stages in our local club, which is pretty fun. You can also scroll down to see, uh, right now there are 648 total stages here in the system. Uh, so the quality of some of these stages are uh, iffy, right? Some are really well designed, some not. You can highlight some of these to see what the stage look like. Top view, maybe uh, something like this. Let's say for instance, if I'm interested in this one, right? SRPM practice, and this is design, is it design? No, this one, Year of Wizard Gary. Designed by Andrew McDougall, been downloaded 29 times. So let's say I want this, I just click on this button here, and it said, do you really want to download this? And I say yes. And you will download the stage for Stage Central and show you within the tool. And now you can navigate in the tool and go, oh, this is pretty cool. And if you're interested to play it, you can go to over to simulation mode. And then now you can shoot it. Yeah, I'll cover simulation and dry fire in a different tutorial, but this is how you can actually use Stage Central. And then if you're interested, you can then go ahead and save this as a SDG file and then send it to your friends or whatever to take a look at. Let's say I've already done designing a stage and I've configured everything and I really want to share this with everybody else in Stage Central. I can do that very easily by going over to Tools in Stage Central and I have the option to submit a stage up here. So if I click on Submit a Stage, it will just ask you to confirm if you want to upload the stage and say yes and you will upload the stage. And where does it go? It's typically at the bottom because this is sorted by a number of downloads. You can sort by any of these options here. Let's say I can sort by when's the last updated. Let's say the last updated is me. I uploaded this stage, call for funsies. And by default, it will pick the last camera in your list in order to use as a thumbnail. You can obviously change this and change how that thumbnail looks like. And that's how you upload a stage to Stage Central. And if you don't like it, you can delete it just by clicking this button and say delete for fun. And now you'll be removed from Stage Central. Yeah, user has a maximum of 100 uploads. This can be changed for some people who are more prolific in sharing stages. You can request to have more stages that you can upload. Just let me know. Just join our Discord server and, and ping me and let me know if you need more allocation here. You can also search by name, author, or any text in the stage briefing, start position, and procedures here as well. So let's say if I want to look for all the stages that I designed, I just put L-O-K-E, and you see that I have designed some of these stages together with Marcel as well, and most of the stages that have my name here. If I want to look for IPSC, you can see that the text for IPSC appears here as well. Let's say if I want to look for disciplines, I can also target, sort by target type here and say sort it by this. And so all these are USPSA, oh sorry, sort by alphabetical. So then 
The top ones will be 3 Gun, I Core, IDPA, depending on discipline. You can also sort by paper size. Let's say I have a big bay, I'm trying to design a stage for a match in my local club. I'll look for long stages, right? I can just sort it by this. So I'll go through here, or maybe just do alphabetical. And then scroll down to see all the long stages. Then you can start viewing the type of stage designs that they have here. If you're interested in it, just get, grab it and then print your stage briefing. So that, in a nutshell, is Stage Nitro.